Previously on the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky SC. Hey, don't get close to the edge. What happened if you fall, eh? I'm a bird down look. Wow, so cool. Hey, look, look, you're so tiny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, what did I just say, boy? God. God damn it, lost another child. Great. What am I going to tell his mother? Oh, well. You know, let's make a new one. It's fine. And now back to rapidly continuing the series. Sneako B! Back with some more of the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky SC. When we last left off, Estelle and Shira's, I mean Estelle and Agate, decided to head off together over to Ruan, who is now in the midst of a big election to replace the shitty ass Mayor Dalmor. But who cares about that? Well, we're really giving a shit about it is there's been an apparent sightings of ghosts! That's right, ghosts! Better hop in the mystery machine, Estelle. We got a spook problem. Which means we gotta go around and figure out exactly what it really is, which is probably not a ghost. So ran into our old pals, the Ravens, who now are sporting sweet new faces. Oh my God, they look like people now, I don't believe it. And through another one of their members, we learned that there's someone like flying around in the sky? Huh. We also returned to Saffril Tower, which has the weird device on the roof now suddenly glowing. Oh, that has to be only a good thing, right? Only good things. And Estelle also took an incredibly mediocre picture up there. Wow, great job, Estelle. I'm not a fucking photographer, okay? But that's okay. I mean, we didn't, it's not like I lost any points or anything, right? 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 She did, in fact, lose points. Yes, you guys informed me, and to be, to be honest, I realized it after I finished the episode. Yeah, there were bonus points, and in fact, this was actually in the spoiler-free guide that you guys gave me, that, yeah, that's it's kind of one of the more bullshit side quests in the game. Essentially, I have to wait until I, I come across another NPC, and apparently it's pretty obvious. I think I already know who it's gonna be, actually, just based on our previous experience, and they will take the picture for me. That's, that's essentially what will let you get the best uh rank apparently you actually can also get an even like a marginally better rank by doing it yourself i just have to stand in the exact right spot but if you want the best one you wait for the npc but yeah it's pretty bullshit because it kind of goes against all your like you know your predispositions not to mention the fact that of all of the uh jobs that you get that was the one that had the shortest deadline everything else was long and that one was medium so that was kind of why I, fe I felt the need to do this one first but it was in the guide and I missed it. And the, the main reason was because in the previous guide, everything was really kind of linear, like all the discovery of the Carnelia books and everything. So I didn't really need to read any further than one at a time every time. Um, and for this section, the first the first secret thing I need to get was something I hadn't gotten yet. So I didn't think I needed to worry too much about it, what came after it. Not the case. <laughs> so it was there. I just need to read one more ahead of where it was. That's not really a fault of the, the the people who wrote the guide, which I think is actually I think I think it was literally you, know, you guys actually made this like specifically for me. So it's not it's not like you made a mistake or something around the guide. It was it was my goof. I just because I I had done it that way last game. It just it, I don't think it's gonna work the same way here. I need to be able to actually I guess read a few ahead. But I think I also partially did it just because I didn't want to spoil myself too much. Even if it if it was still relatively non spoiler re, it still did sort of indicate you know towns and places that we would go to. So basically, yeah, I just, I need to read a little further ahead in the guide than the one I was at. Good news though, I just went ahead and redid it. It was a little bit of a pain because I didn't have any auto saves like right beforehand. And my last save that I had was actually the start of uh, the chapter, like literally right when I got Agate. So I had to redo all that again, but it's not that big a deal. I went and got all the chests in the Sephiroth Tower, so all I gotta do is, once I get this other character, we'll just go to the top, take the picture, and come back. I probably could just get away with not getting it, because I think you guys said I had like a wiggle room of about three points. And checking a guide, it did actually, I think, say that you at most can only get three points from this. But uh, just seeing as I'm relatively early here, and it really wasn't that big of a pain in the ass to do. I figured, eh, you know what, it's, it's fine. I'll just redo it and make sure we're good for this uh, this next one. But yeah, that's definitely some bullshit. I do think that some of the, the secret stuff in this game, well, I do on one hand sort of respect it, and I do say, you know, that's pretty cool that they would like go out of their way to do something like that. Especially when you have so little wiggle room here in terms of like being able to hit max rank. I do think they're expecting a little much of the player. Like, come on, dude. I mean, unfortunately, the game does make it at least fairly obvious that you probably didn't get the best reward based on his the, the guy, the scientist guy's reaction. But the fact that to get the best reward, you need to literally wait till this random character shows up is just kind of like, man, dude, what the fuck? 
How would anyone know this? But anyway, uh, last episode, uh, Shubagu6108 said, Now's the part where the other half of the fandom convinces you to reload again and switch back to Shira. It can be fun. We can switch every episode like a relay race if you have to finish increasingly longer portions of the game every episode. Wait, Nico, why are you running back? <laughs> yes, that sounds like such a great idea. Guys, that's right. We're switching back. We're switching to Sherazard now. Here we go. Sherazard's here. Boom. There. Look. Hello. Hello, Estelle. Hi, Sherazard. I've been here the whole time. I know. I know you've been here the whole time. I've, I've been here with you the whole time. Now we're going to do all the things that we just did out with Agate. We're going to do it again. With who? I don't know. I don't even know who that is. I'm sure by the end of this game, I will absolutely not have completely lost my mind. But Shubagoo, thank you so much for your absolutely horrible idea. And here's that reason you are comment of the day. All right. Uh, I think this pro I probably should try to find the other secret that was literally the one before the one that you guys mentioned which about the, the camera side quest. I just have to find where it is. What the hell? Cat foot slippers. Defense plus one, movement plus two, agility plus two. Oh, what is the... Uh, is that like when I run around, my feet make squeaky sounds or something? Fans will shoes with rubber ball soles that mimic cat paws. Makes you into a furry. Oh, here we go. Ah, okay. So this was, this actually technically was here in the last game, but seemingly now I can actually interact with stuff in this area. Exchange metals. Oh, there it is. So this is the the one I'm shooting for. Oh, they have a new fishing rod though too. But I gotta get fucking chapter two of this thing. Damn it. It's a hustle old as Ricky's hell. Not nearly as nice as the modern ones. Which is totally why I lost. Yeah. Uh, I have no medals. Where do I get medals? Wow, we actually do have poker? and blackjack and roulette. Wow. Holy shit, it's actually like pretty legit looking. Yakuza fucking uh, gambling kicking in. Ah, shit. I have literally zero dollars. because I had to go to the fucking shop right before this. What an idiot. Why did I do that? But you know what? Yeah, just load it. I bought a bunch of items that would probably be helpful, but fuck that. Let's go. Let's go gambling. So it's a hundred. Oh, you know, I can just, can I just buy? Yeah, I don't even need to go gambling if I don't really want to. Huzzah! I do the same thing with the other one too, if I want. All right, first though, let's read this, chapter two. All right, so we got a little glimpse of Gambler Jack here, right? Last chapter. You're running the bill, sexy gambling man, when suddenly a woman walks in. So let's see where that goes from here. Uh, all right, chapter two, the offer. The girl strode to the bar and closed the door without turning a, re a reggae? Reggae? Reach? <laughs> not sure you say that. There was no hesitation in her manner. It seemed her arrival was no accident. Her face was determined, but her confident entrance wouldn't, couldn't erase the lingering innocence of youth there. Even the best liar wouldn't try and claim she was more than 18. Dark brown eyes and hair suggested she was Eastern, but her nose and features made hard to be sure. The girl slowly walked forward. Would you step her cute, her cute little knees? <laughs> Peeked at her from under the trim of her skirt. Uh, her outfit was a design without any sense of decoration. It seemed her taste lay more along the lines of utility than style. Maybe because of that, the Eastern symbol necklace on her chest couldn't help but look equally unremarkable. The lack of volume in that area probably had something to do with that as well. Wait, <laughs> saying the lack in volume of her chest, is that what that said? <laughs> God damn, okay. So we're talking about her knees, now we're talking about her chest. Damn, you're much raucher than, than the Cornelia story. Seemed like it'd still be some time before she really bloomed. She's 18, dude. I don't know how much more growing she's got. Well, since so she, she couldn't be more than 18, so it doesn't mean she actually was, now that I think about it. It appears bearing the signs of East and West both in simple, unembellished clothes. The girl might have been the spirit of the Eastern Quarter made flesh. She caught the eye of one of the punks hanging about almost instantly. Hey, hey, little girly, he slurred. Wanna have some fun with me? As he spoke, he grabbed the girl's wrist with one greasy hand. It happened in an instant. Her arm flew up, dislodging the punk's grip. Now freed, her hand disappeared deep into her skirt, and then she slid out with a massive gleaming black iron. Do you all, the, these stories always have some badass chicks, don't they? 
She pressed into the space between his eyes. He stared at the object for a moment before collapsing to his knees in fear. It was an horrible gun of cunning make, a hive caliber Verne, uh, Verne Company model. If she shot that firearm, the punk would have lost his head instead of his bladder. It was not yours, not your average self-defense weapon. It's the latest model, she purred. Want to see what it can do? She was cool and calm. The barrel of the gun didn't waver a bit. If she fired, her aim would be perfect. Overwhelmed by the girl, gun, or both, the punk couldn't move a muscle. Everyone else in the bar remained frozen as well. All eyes were on the girl. Hey, miss. Hey, Dasp. Could you let him off that with that? Maybe the speaker couldn't stand it anymore, or maybe it was disturbing his drink. But the husky, se sensual voice broke through the silence. Ooh, sensual. It was Jack. Still played it firmly in his chair, breathing breath smelling of liquor, he continued. I'm sure he's very sorry, and he's learned his lesson. He shot the punk a meaningful look. As if in answer to it, the punk started nodding his head vigorously. I've come here to gamble, the girl said suddenly. She slowly lowered the gun in her left hand, her expression remained cool and attached. Sounds good. Come on over here. Give me everything you got. Jack's words had an immediate impact, not on the girl, but on the gathered goons and hoods. They all shared a glance, each and every one of them. The dirtiest grin you could ever even imagine. Was he maybe thinking, oh, he's gonna hustle this girl or something? Maybe. Okay, interesting. All right, let's try the gambling here before we try to get the, the rod. Let's try, I'm gonna get 100. We'll see uh, what I can do with that. So, okay, betting. All right, there we go. Is this actually, oh. I got a little something. I wonder if there's actually a timing to this. Uh, 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 uh. Shit. Maybe? Is there a slow motion button? Let's go gambling. Oh damn, I almost got a bar. <gasps> yeah! Uh, 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 I didn't get that much, but yeah! Uh, 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 damn it. Hey, there we go. Yeah, you actually can time it. However, it is it, is uh the it starts off going like relatively reactable to then uh pretty unreactable to very unreactable. They say it gets faster every single time you do this. Say so, look. Ah, there's probably some god out there who could fucking just like like break the matrix and see into the other dimension for exactly where they need to hit, hit the button. Oh, I did it! Well, I got bar. Not oh, damn. Well, almost got triple seven, so too. I've almost returned back to breaking even. Huzzah! Let's play blackjack. Fucking hit me. Hit me. All right, stand. Fuck. Fuck you. Damn it! Thank God, thank God the save files exist. Oh, interesting. It seems like you can actually bet as much as you want here. That's kind of nice. I always kind of drove me crazy in some of the, the Yaksa games where, like, a lot, of them, a lot of the tables are just, like, low betting tables with only, like, like the certain later areas getting you, know, like, the high betting ones, but even then it's, like, you get millions of yen, you know? Hit me. Fuck, I'm dead. Come on. That means all you gotta do is get one good run, all right? Oh, okay. Stand. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. No! All right, well, give me my money back. Hit me. Hit me. Fuck. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Even if we both bust, I, I still, it's still lost for me. Oh, 21. Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, baby, a triple. This is probably the best way to farm for money in the game. Oh wait, I can't I can't get money back. No, never mind. This is literally just for prizes and nothing else. Still nice though. I can't trade it for fucking gold and platinum plates, unfortunately. Damn it! Where the hell's carry you when you need it? Alright, so let's head over to the orphanage area. Aminoria. I think there also might be a dickhead here on the Yeah. 
Cobalt Saber out here somewhere. And over in Vista Forest, which I guess I should just go do now. Ooh, can, you go, can I go to the Genesis Rule Academy? Do exams entry the Academy grants are restricted. Fuck you! <laughs> Chloe! Chloe! Let me in! Let me in! Oh, there it is. Cobra! Two Cobras? God, these monsters are so fucking weird looking, dude. Why does he have little mushrooms growing on him? Mercury Viper. Smoke these two snakes. I get, oh! Fuck that one lift. Uh, oh, God dang it. Stop. Come on. Hit his ass. Oh, there we go. And dead. Damn, look at this fucking thing. Isn't this like the, one of the things we encountered underground? Ah! Ah! Oh, it exploded shit. Could just be your imagination, but it's empty. Damn, you're right, it is. Another surprise, Cookie. When you gaze long enough to the empty chest, the ch chest gazes back into you. Into your soul. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got rid of it. So I'm running back through this area, but I have to remember it's actually my first time going through this area in this game. So I got to remember to check, check around for chests. Uh, so what really stops you from wearing more than two accessories? So she'll tech her up. <laughs> Damn, that's a good one. Insulating tape. Ooh, I think that's my beastie right there. All right, big doggo. Three big doggos. Oh boy. Oh God, it's fucking Mayor Dalmore's pets and they've freaking propagated. Oh my God. Completely bum fucked me. Get him, Agate. Fucking light, light them all on fire. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. Nah, fuck this. Smoke him, Agate. Uh, ah, bah. Oh boy, ow. And then he buffed everybody, and then I died. The end. Ah, blah. And then he exploded. Whew. Okay. Damn, these guys do some damage. Wait, did I read this one? Watch out, this chest has nothing to lose. There's nothing, no telling what it might do. Uh, ain't in here? Oh, it had to be. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Please, come on, I just killed a guy. Don't give me another monster. Hard loafers. I'll have you know that if you could take multiple items from the same chest, the economy would collapse. Oh, it must be just for the ladies. Basic shoes made from tough beast leather, easy to wear. Damn, these are really good actually let me put to shame the fucking clog boots on the guys poly k eat is that a chest you find blood so much blood why was in this here the first time <laughs> what <laughs> oh my god so many plot twists of these chests oh and there's a fishing spot huzzah i'm gonna try my marine star on this and use a poly -ba -ba -ba. all right this time i'm gonna focus on the rod instead of the exclamation point Yes. Gotcha! Great blackfish. He spat out some some uh, other shit. Oh, hey. I can, yeah, I can use this too. Uh, hold on. Let's try a shriplet. Oh, well, that one stuck up real fast. All right, let's try, try big bait here. Claudine! Mmm, and a juicy bone. No fucking way. How? How the fuck? Dude, I swear, I swear to God, I pressed that shit immediately. How the fuck did that get away? I don't even believe it. I'm guessing those must be just be like really like tough fish that are like, it's like almost impossible to get on like lower level rods or something. It's gotta be, all right? Because I'm like, that's, there's no way, man. Come on. I was fucking locked in. Yeah, I'm actually noticing overall our physical attacks are just doing more damage. Or just more, way more effective than they used to be. Like, last game, it felt like, like, there were obviously specific monsters that just didn't take much physical damage, and they're in this game, too. But even a lot of times, the regular monsters just were so tanky, like, they just... Like, your physical damage still did barely anything. All right, so there's the Mor Mercy Orphanage, which you do need to head over to. Holy balls! My God, look, guys. 
It's the exact same building as last time. Actually, actually, I think it looks a little different. Unless I am misremembering. Hold on. Let's see if I'm misremembering. Wow. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at a comparison. Funny enough, so it is similar, but it isn't actually the exact same. The textures on the, uh, the original building are slightly dirtier than the new one. That's actually amazing. <laughs> I'm actually totally shocked by that, and I skipped a message by accident. Oh, shit. Man, it's turned that black stain on the ground to this that quick. I think they built the building the same way, just uh, newer. She, she's right, it is. It's just, it looks exactly, the, it, it, it is like the same layout, right? But it just is cleaner and newer looking. That's a, that's a, I, I thought it was just going to look literally the exact same with the same textures and everything. And it was just like super lazy, but no, actually they, I mean, it's still the same type of building, but they made it look cleaner. So that's, I, I'm surprised. Why, why am I surprised? I shouldn't be surprised. This game's world building is fucking fuck busted. Thank the goddess. This is so wonderful. Um, so. Oh my God, it's Mama Teresa. I mean, Matron Teresa. Major Teresa. Yes, I thought it was you. Welcome back. I'm glad to see you. And you are Agate, yes? That's right. Been a while, ma'am. We last met during the mess with Clem, yes? Really has been a while. Thank you so much for your help back then. Hey, don't sweat it. Really. I'm just sorry I haven't stopped by since then. Um, congratulations on getting the orphanage rebuilt. My maze looks pretty much exactly how it used to be, too. <laughs> I know it sounds silly to ask them to build it that way, but everyone was kind enough to humor me. I can't imagine this orphanage looking any other way. It just wouldn't be the same. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. So, uh, are the kids inside? Oh, uh, no, they're actually out in Minoria for class. Traveling priest comes by once a week and holds Sunday school for us, you see. Traveling priest, huh? Hmm. Oh, okay. It's a bit of a problem, though. wonder if it's the... THE traveling priest. You see, we actually want to ask the kids about something on top of just saying hello. Oh? What this happen to have to do with the white man, uh, Polly saw? Ah, uh, probably, yes. I see, so it's Polly who saw the person... thing. I always did peg her as a sharp one. Well, come inside. You can wait here until they return. I'll make muffins! I do have some tea! Oh, hell yeah. And a few snackadoodles! Thanks! What's up? Do you know your thing? <laughs> I'll drink yours. Major Teresa? You're not going to ask about Joshua, are you? Ah. Chloe already told me everything. Aw. Chloe's so on this shit. She worries easily, and she needed to unburden her soul onto someone when she found out. Estelle, you've been through so much. I... Eh, come on! If you say things like that, I... I can't... hold it in. Oh no. You don't need to hold it in. You shouldn't. I'm also familiar with how it feels to lose someone important. <gasps> Aww! Ah, oh, sweet baby. Now, now, don't say anything. I may not be able to be a mother for you, but at the very least, I can hold you for a little while. Aw. Wholesome. Ah, uh, well, uh, that was embarrassing. And here I was wanting to show up and show up. I'm a big, tough, bracer woman now. Yeah! Yeah! Is that right, Aggie? Yeah! Okay, seriously, you, 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 you're you embarrassing yourself more. No, I'm not! I'm a fucking badass, strong-ass woman! I ain't no baby bitch! Ah! She spikes the tea onto the fucking ground. Ah! I'm sorry about your china. I, I, I got excited. It's okay, dear. Go ahead and break as much as you want. That's right. You are a senior bracer now, aren't you? Congratulations, Estelle. <laughs> um, well, I'm still kind of green, to be honest. Speaking of my little crying jack, though. Teresa, you mentioned that Chloe was worried about us? Yes, about you and Joshua specifically. Where is she? I know she's at school and exams, but where is she? She saw her precious friends suffering and felt powerless to do anything for them. She struggled with it. She desperately wants to help you. Precious friends? 
It, I feel kind of awful. She's been tearing herself up so much over it. But I'm glad she cares. Really need to go see her soon. Now! I believe that Janice's campus is close to visitors right now due to the end of term examinations. I know. Those should be over soon, though. And you can see her then. Sounds like a plan. Also, you know, the kids are a little bit late, aren't they? I don't remember Sunday school taking this long. They may be playing in the village after class. The new traveling priest who's been coming by does seem like he's fond of children. It's totally gonna be him. <laughs> it's totally gonna be this guy. New traveling priest, huh? Wait, why does this sound familiar? <laughs> we should have him annoy and check on, on him then. We'll bring the kids back, if need be. Good idea. Are you sure? Wouldn't want to trouble you. Ah, no problem. Think of it as thanks for the great tea and snacks. Besides, you're a big one for the letting you cry like that. Right? H hey! <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll be waiting here for your return. Duh. So wholesome, dude. Yeah, these characters are pretty great. They're pretty fucking great. Still needs a mommy in her life, really. Let's be honest, Major Teresa would definitely not be a bad pick. I can't believe Cassie's didn't get remarried, that fucking stud. The Major still blows me away. I was impressed with it before, but man. Can't help but feel humbled by women like that, you know? The Queen's the same way. Uh, you too, huh, Agate? Yeah, she kind of reminds me of, of Mom that way. Oh uh, yeah, the old man's wife. She died during the war, didn't she? Hmm. Agate? Something wrong? Nah, just... Women are strong, you know? Stronger than you think. What's this all of a sudden? Ah, let it go. I'm rambling or something. Come on, let's go collect, collect the kids from Minoria. Yeah, and Agate's honestly super... He, he's very soft on the inside too, isn't he? He's a little baboo. Like the only person who was really able to see that last game was Tita. Damn, it's a weird. Look at this weird fucking. It's a crab riding a <laughs> riding a rainbow bubble. What's this thing doing? What are you doing? Die! <laughs> fucking die! You nearly tear the top of the chest off of its hinges, and you're excited to open it. Your face falls. You realize there's nothing inside. Cause you already got it, you big dumb idiot. Oh, fucking bomb! Is this the way of the secret area? Uh, no. Is that area still there? I think there was an area here somewhere that had, like, a a big secret, like, alcove you could get. That's where we got, like, Joshua's, like, skull dagger or whatever. Here's Manaya. I mean, here's that old stolen donations thing. Still quiet as a church, it looks like. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I like it. Your town and town of Ravenue was pretty quiet, too, if I remember right. I guess. Anyway, kids should be at Sunday school somewhere in the village. Let's look for them. Right. The same ladies here. It's just time for Sunday school to end. Yeah, the flower shop. All right, now before we go do that though, there is another secret thing. There's a secret quest this time. And ch hilariously enough, just like before, secret, qu secret quest is over at the lighthouse. It's literally the exact same thing happened last time we were here. Which means we gotta go talk to old man Smithers, more than likely. This fucking piece of shit, old man! Maybe she'll take Estelle, we'll take Estelle seriously now? Maybe. Maybe. Hip! Still hurts a bit, eh? No use. Can't stream myself any further. Hi, Mr. Vo Vox! It's been a while! Ah, it's you bracer kids again. Still full of vim and vinegar, I see. Oh yeah, now I remember. You were knocked out of that old mess with the intelligence goons. We left your dumb ass here to die. Yeah, this is Mr. Vogt, the lighthouse keeper. How are you these days, Mr. Vogt? Still hanging in there? I've been all right, mostly. Uh, recently, I... Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? It's my bum back. Can't seem to shake this pain. Anytime I bend it all, it's like someone's driving a spike through my spine. Ugh, sounds pretty painful. Can you take some medicine for that or anything? I've been dealing with this pain since you were in diapers, you little, you little shit. 
I'll have you know. Don't I waste time trying to cure it now? I'll go away on its own. I'll see to that. Unfortunately, I can't afford to sit around resting for too long right now. Huh? Well, take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> Be an ass and leave. Is there something you need done? Something you need done? Matter of fact, there is. I was right in the middle of an important job when you started in here. You know, the, there are ornaments used in the lighthouse, right? I swapped the parts out for new ones, but I ain't giving them all a test yet. Well, this is like it could be a problem. Nah, no worries. This is my responsibility. Wouldn't be much of a lighthouse keeper if I asked someone else to do it. Yeah, just take it slow and easy, and keep my back straight. I see. But don't strain yourself, okay? You don't want to make it worse. You don't need to worry on that score, little miss. I know my body. Ah, right, listen to me go on. Sorry to your ears off. Good luck with your work, bracers. Thanks. Take care, Mr. Fox. Oh, yeah, swamp boy. <laughs> no, come on. There's no way. This old man totally wants to do the fur. Come on. I almost forgot. Hmm? What is it? Well, about testing them orbits. There's a manual in the bookshelf there with details how to do it. <sighs> Curious? Feel free to take a look. Huh? Oh, uh, sure, I guess. It's a poor job, be sure, but so they're just flipping switches. Anyone hey, can do it if they read the manual, I reckon. You know, do you think just maybe he's being the most passive aggressive old far the universe asks us to help him out? Ain't no maybe about it. This is just what he does. Yeah, something wrong? No, nothing. Oh, see ya. What? What? All right, let's have a look. There's a book on the shelf titled Ma Lighthouse Manual. And then my game crashed. <laughs> what the hell? And then my game exploded. D end. Don't open that book. <laughs> but I have to open the book. Uh, okay, let's try again. I think it did it again. What the hell? What's going on? What? Why is it crashing the game? That book's a bad book. I don't think I can read this book. Yeah, it just crashes the game every time. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm not the only one who had this problem. It seems to be, this seems to, this was just an issue. Okay, apparently it is, you have to disable the high-res font for it not to crash. That sucks. Holy, oh my God. That looks really bad. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Damn, that is rough. Look, I took my glasses off. Okay, so that just works. Oh, that sucks, dude. That fucking blows. All right. Apparently, this isn't the only time this is going to be a problem, too. According to what that comment said. Apparently, this will, this will occasionally pop up. So, fuck. I'm going to have to save frequently. All right. Varen Lighthouse. Uh, simplified Orbit Manual. Configuration of the control device. The layout of the Lighthouse Orbit Control. Activation switch. Set on to initiate beacon. Orbital amplitude control. Adjust orbital levels. Stabilizer. Stabilization mechanism. Connection core Set to on to activate beacon. Uh, set activation switch to on and then set the connection quartz to on okay so one in four the beacon should illuminate if you think is it broken please consult troubleshooting section below read before contacting the central factory the activation switch isn't flipping is the orbital amplitude set to low it will not activate it at a setting higher than low it tells me output is zero if the stabilizer is set to higher than orbital at orbital amplitude value the resulting output will be zero and the orbit will stop the output keeps dropping without any error while there are multiple possible problems the most likely cause is the stabilizer setting as the gap between stabilizer setting and orbital amplitude grows output becomes unstable and may drop randomly i can't connect the quartz as the uh, orbital amplitude is set to high orbital connection will be refused in any setting besides high the contents of the manual may be changed in any moment without time what the hell anyway mayor's let's shout give it a read can I just go up there and do it? Oh, it's, no, this it's this thing over here. Okay. Okay, so this to on. Shit. So this to high, so this to low. Set this to on. Shit. Set this to on. Fuck. Oh, this needs to be low. I think I did it backwards. And this needs to be high. And now I hit on. Fuck. Okay, there we go. And set to high. Nope. So it's a low. So turn that on. Then be set to mid. Or set to high. Nope. Okay, okay. 
Okay. Is a delicate song and dance here. All right. So, uh, wait, no. Low. Turn on. Then we're going to set to mid. I'm going to set this one to mid. Then we're going to set this one to high. No. <laughs> Damn it. On. Set to mid. Set to mid. Set to high. Set to high. Now hit it on. There we go. What? Tricky shit. Kind of clever, though. Ah, you did it. So, um, can we just leave it alone now, right? Can. It's diagnostic mode. I'll stop on his own in a little while. Okay, then. Still, I'm impressed. I managed to figure out with nothing more than a manual. It, it wasn't easy, to be honest. <laughs> oh, hey. Looks like it stopped. Yes, indeed. Diagnosis is done. There are no problems to report. So now I don't believe you to do this, all this for me. Sorry I put you through all this trouble. No, it's fine. Yeah, no need to thank us. Just make sure you take it easy on your back. No, no, no. I can't let you go without actually a little gra my gratitude. Here, oh my god, fishing bait. Yes. Oh, these are, um... Some bait for your sea fishing. You can land some real whoppers at the Cliffs near the lighthouse. Strike, if you got the time. Ah, uh, thanks. And we should get moving along, but... And take care, old man. No, anything else we can do for you? Did you need anything else? Yeah, I got any, little miss. However, it's good of you to ask. Very, very important. Uh, see, I, and that was what he said before, right? It's like, why are you leaving without asking about anything else? So you have a heart that cares for others. Is any modern bracers should. Just like the bracers of old. Just like your old man. Eh, well, thanks. Make sure to remember that attitude, dear. Now, safe travels. Look at us. Learning valuable life lessons. All right, let's turn that fucking... Let's let's get the, the high-res textures back on. Oh, my God, this is so awful. This is funny enough. This is actually the place. It seems like the orphanage kids are back in good spirits. You hear them laughing all the way out here on the way to Sunday school. Where Orva would be. Hey, if it isn't the bracers, all right, check out, all right, check out the orphanage. Yep, stop by. I can't believe how good it looked. I was a real surprise. Not bad, right? Pretty proud of how having had the chance to help. These kids got their smiles back, so it feels like things are finally settled. Now, speaking of the kids, they're at the Sunday school right now, right? Yeah, they're holding over at the Windmill Lodge in the south of the village. She'll be over soon, so why don't you stop by? The mill, Windmill Lodge in the south. Got it. We'll check it out. See ya. Yeah, give it the good work. Where the hell's Orvid at? Because I have another. Qu I have a quest with him too. Oh. Uh. Oh, she's gonna flash back to when she fucking fed Joshua like he was a baby bird. Ah! Oh wait, no, Joshua fed her like he was. A, she was a baby bird. I mean. This is. Ah! Baby Joshua. Ah, what's up? <laughs> um, Joshua, I had lunch here a while back, you see? It just came back to me is all. Ah, right. Hey, don't be like that. It's like a memory of some great tragedy or anything. I was just a kid who didn't really understand her own feelings. A kid? It was too much to go us out. I totally forced Joshua to fl l let me feed him. I didn't care if anyone saw. Actually, yeah, I guess they, they did to each other. He must have been really sick of me even then. I stuck, I stuck a whole sandwich in his mouth. I think he might have been choking. Yeah, yeah, he probably wasn't crazy about that. No, you're supposed to say he loved it! Nah, I mean, you're right. Heh, <laughs> you're still a kid if you ask me. How about it? Need a sec? Nope, I can't stop now. Can't let myself stop now. Besides, we need to find the Sunday school, right? Right, let's go. That'd be right here. Class is in session. Well, hey, here's the Sunday school. Give them the sign stop. I guess they're still in class. Good be. Let's take a look inside. Might have finished for the day and just forgot to take the sign down. Good idea. Let me take a peek. It's gotta be. It has to be. Okay, let's see. Wait a sec. 
I know that guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, hello there, children. <laughs> they do not deserve your sympathy. In truth, Pedro did not think Duke Gassing would, would back down easily. And what of the machinations of the foul-masked puppeteer, Harlequin? Cap Capri, Pedro's teacher, seemed to know the jester, but simply dodged any questions about him with frustrating vagueness. Regardless, Pedro knew another battle would come, and soon. He would have to upgrade the Blue Knight if he hoped to emerge, emerge victorious. Oh, Pedro. A slightly irritated yet comforting voice snapped Pedro from his reverie. <laughs> uh, damn, this motherfucker just reading this shit out like a... Like he's reading right off a novel. Do you wish for your tea to grow cold? The clear blue eyes which met his own carried their own message. It will be all right. Pedro, a little embarrassed, took his tea and drank deeply. It was enough to simply have this moment with her. The end. That's the doll night, kids. What? That's it? What the fuck? What kind of fuck it was that, Kevin? You suck! Oh, hey, uh, calm down, Clem. It's supposed to be a poetic ending. Fuck your poetic ending! I need my goddamn closure! What about the fight with Harlequin? Oh my god, the other kids have faces now, too! I see Mary! Oh, Clem, you're such a dummy. That's a wonderful ending. Damn, this game has so much more budget. <laughs> Look how much more budget it is. We, they drew... Like, five more portraits, at least. That was at least $800 billion of budget right there. He's just no patron Tia going to ha get married and live happily ever after. Ah, oh, it's so romantic. But not Lucia. Sorry, sorry, Lucia. Only Mary. Yeah, yeah. They gotta, gotta get married and be happy. Oh my god, damn, Daniel. Daniel's got one. I want some of that tea. What the, why did Polly does too? Why did Lucia get nothing? What, why is Lucia not good enough? What is going on? Capri's so cool. <sighs> All 22 chapters of the Doll Knight and one sitting for a bunch of rambunctious kids. They won't talk challenges. <laughs> all right, kiddos, that's enough for one day. Class is over. <laughs> he recited that all from memory. Ah. Uh, thank you for teaching us, Mr. Graham. Okay, never underestimating this group of kids again. <laughs> Yo, who's at the door? Class just wrapped up, so come on in. Uh, you notice me? Guess I stuck my nose in a little too far. Sorry for intruding. Huh? Hey. <gasps> ah! A stop! Hi, kids. It's great to see you again. Like my new green color palette. Are you guys doing okay? Holy moly, you gonna play? This is great! It's been forever! Oh my god! Mr. Stout, play with me, me! Welcome back! Welcome back! Uh, well, you haven't lost any energy, it seems. And Father Kevin, it's been a while. Ah, she remembers me. Of course I do. Wow, though, you really are a priest. Despite the get up. Really? Why all the hate on my awesome duds? But hey, what are the chances we meet again here of all places? Could this be fate? Fate? Ah, I see. So you've met Father Kevin before, Estelle. The world really is a small place. I know, right? Craziness. Thanks for lunch, by the way. It was excellent. No, no, it's no trouble. Besides, it's the least I can do in return for what you've done for the children. Hey, Estelle. How come Joshua's not with you today? Ah, oh, fuck! God damn it, Clint, you said to ruin it! You ruined everything! Ah, uh, you see? He's pretty busy with something, so he couldn't come today. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Uh, I want Joshua to see the orphanage all fixed up too, piece of shit. Me too. I wanted to see him dressed up like a princess again. So pretty. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, you guys were in Sunday school for a while. What was that you were reading when we came in? Some kind of novel? It, it's called The Doll Knight. It's an awesome action story about the fights between puppeteers. It'd be actually really funny if he was up there reading Gambler Jack. <laughs> he got to the end of it and he like spoils the ending for me. Damn it. It's an awesome action story about fights between puppeteers. Oh God. Why did it have to be puppeteers? Oh, no, was it? Sword for brains! 
It was a romance with desperate love between a noble lady and a common man. <laughs> Her reaction. Mm, desperate love. It's a young adult novel series I brought with me when I came to the borough. I plan on reading to the kids a little at a time, but they uh convinced me to do it all in one go. Whew. I guess the way you get caught up in this in this stuff kind of backfire there. Oh, thank you for your devotion, Father Kevin. That's, probably, that's why I ran so late, because he was stuck reading it for so long. You'll be heading back to Ruan now, I take it. Yeah, next logical step, really. I've got other villages to visit, so I need to hop on the airship soon. Speaking of, I got me on Ruan yourself, still. Brace of business, I guess? Yeah, there's a lot going on. Wait, on that note, we came out here to say, ask us about something. Um, I believe you wanted to ask the white, about the white man Polly saw. Oh, yeah, that thing. Mm, you want to ask me stuff? Yes, Polly, we have a question. Can you tell us about the white man you saw a little while ago? The white man was a white man. He was spinning like a top. It was neato and fun. <laughs> uh, we were hoping for a bit more. Uh, let me try and explain a bit better. It was about four days ago. Polly was outside, just kind of spacing out, which is, you know, usual for her. Then she saw a white man floating in the air. Yeah! He was dancing around in circles in the sky. And then when I tried talking to him, he bowed and flew away like a birdie. You were totally asleep and dreamt the whole thing. You dumb bitch. I mean, come on, that's the famous ghost story ever. I thought she might be dreaming at first as well. But it seems someone else saw it too. Right, Daniel? Um, yeah, I only saw a little though. That night I saw a weird white shadow flying off to the east. White shadow, okay. Well, with two kids seeing it, I'm a lot more inclined to believe it. The hell's up with just bowing when spoken to though. I think this might be like a member of Ouroboros or some shit, right? Some weirdo. Hey, Polly, did you get a good look at his face? I don't know what his face looks like. He was wearing a weird mask. A mask? What kind of ghost wears a mask? Hey, Polly, you need to say this stuff. You never met that before. But nobody asked. <laughs> well, mask aside, it seems it wasn't just a dream. Once Daniel told me about it, I contacted the Bracer Guild, just in case. I've been watching for it since then, but there's been no sign of it. Hmm. Well, thanks for your time, ma'am. This gives us a lot to think about. Still, Agate, whenever you're in Ruan, you're more than welcome to stop by. Father, I'll see you the next time there's a class, I hope. Yeah, you bet. Absolutely. I'll drop by every time I have a chance. See you, Father Kevin. You too, Estelle. Bring Joshua next time, too. Y yeah. I don't know when I'll be back, but we will come back. We'll come see you again. Man, those kids are energetic. Gotta wonder, though, whether or not the matron qualifies for sainthood. Because every single one of them was among the most polite, wonderful kids I've ever met. Yeah, I mentioned Teresa's amazing. It's actually another uh, girl who helps out here, too. She's busy with her school exams and couldn't get out here today, though. Hmm, okay. Anyway, I've been back to Ruan for a bit. What about you guys? Won't come with? Well, we've asked everything we need to get over here. And the ruin's always better with company. Let's head out. It's decided then. Off we go to Ruan. Let's go. It's this guy. Oh, there he goes. He's a party member. Let's fucking do it. He's got a big ass crossbow and he's giving me the thumbs. He's giving me the bottom of thumbs up. He's like, damn, I'm fucking cool. Cross gear, rage, sacrifice arrow, grail sphere. Father Kevin, are you like a healer or something? Damn, you, he's got some healing shit on him, Bobby. Damn, Bobby. Oh, he's got Earth Guard on him, too. Let's go. Let's fucking go. He seems to be... Uh, does he have any prerequisites for these? Actually, I don't think so. I don't think he's actually... I think he can equip any cords. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, this this one has to be dark. Yeah, time cords only for this one. Everything else is free, though. Oh, my God. I can just I can get aerial with this. Oh, I didn't realize I had this evade, too. 
Holy shit. Oh, thank God. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. I missed you so much, Ariel. I missed you so fucking much. Okay, hold on. We gotta still go meet with Orvid, though. Where the fuck is this shithead? Up here? Yep, there he is. Actually, it's probably good I waited until we uh went uh and met with Kevin, because now he'll now he'll have probably something to say during this quest, right? That's what makes this shit so crazy, is that like depending on if you have somebody in your party at the moment, it actually will change these. Like this game has that much detail. Um, got a minute? <laughs> oh, what a surprise. You remember me? I should do a job for me a while ago. Two, actually. This is number three, dickhead. Well, you know him. Yeah, he's a merchant. Kinda. Really has been a while, huh? Yes, last we met was for birthday celebrations, I believe. If you don't mind, I'd like to get things underway immediately. Do you have the time right now? Sure, no problem. So, what's the job? All right, listen carefully. Currently putting together a list of ingredients obtainable across the entire rural region. Problem is, there's been lots of dangerous monsters out there lately. I haven't been able to go out investigating on my own. That's where you bracers come in. I'd like for you to assist me. Sounds easy enough. What do you want us to do specifically? First, take a look at this tentative ingredient list I put together. Savory opinion. Oh my god. I recognize all these things. I would have had all these things already on me, sir, if Joshua hadn't mugged me when I slept. All right. I wrote it down, but is this the list you were talking about? Yeah, so it's incomplete. I want you to find ingredients for the monsters that aren't on this list and bring them to me. Did you get that? Ingredients that are not on the list. Oh, make sure you don't get that wrong. You find ingredients that aren't on it and come report here to report. Of course, you're also welcome to get a bunch of together and report before you go completely done. However, I'll need at least one of the ingredients as a sample, so you'll be careful not to eat too much. Get ingredients not on this list and come to report then. How many types do you want? With the ones not on this list, I mean. Hmm. Can't be sure how much is out there, but I'm happy you found five or six new ingredients. If you find even half of that, I'd be willing to pay you for your time. Is there anything else you'd like to ask? No, I think we got it. We'll look around and see what we can find. Yes, please do. No need to rush. Start a job. Still, I can't wait to see what you report. Okay. I don't think I have that much, really. Let's find something. So I'll show the ingredients that gathered to orbit. Oh, Scree was on the list. Do you see bone? Just to be a few more grease on the list. Give her the good work. Oh, okay. All right. So I, I, he'll just, he'll just take what I got. Gotcha. All right. I guess I'll have to go beat up some dudes later. Oh, Mr. Kevin, Mr. Kevin, read me another book, okay? Yeah, you live to be, kiddo. You be a good girl too, Lucia. Yeah, okay. I'll be waiting. <laughs> One child without a face portrait. <laughs> it's so weird. Everybody else did, but this one girl didn't. So kind of bad for her. You're just not good enough, I guess. According to the game, I'm gonna fight this weird uh, hippo rat in a plant in a flying shrimp dragon. And if she is a flying shrimp, look, they go a flying shrimp. Ah! All right, get it, father. Yeah. I wonder who does the voice for uh, Kevin. All right, what do your moves do? Cross gear rage. Combo attack with a concealed blade and arrows. Cool. This one's expensive. Uh, sacrifice his own CP to raise the CP of others by 40. Ooh. That's cool. That's why it's so expensive. And grail sphere. A prayer pro offered and pro pro offered grail. Wait. Prayer and pro offered grail block one attack. Two with full CP. Oh, really? I mean, can you just get the equivalent though with like stone or, or uh, earth wall? I mean, this covers a large area though. Still pretty cool though. You shouldn't have done that. Uh, I was like, okay. I still can't get more than two people though. Yes, it's only up to two people. So that means at maximum two people. So I guess I still can't get like a three person team. Ugh. All right, Father Kevin. Let's do it. No problem. No problem. Nuke this bitch. Oh, Take that, shark. Ah, oh, sweet Ariel, my beloved. I missed you. All right, what's next? I don't recognize that voice. It's not offhand. 
Ah, finally back. Feels good to be in Ruan again. Thanks, guys. It was nice of you to make sure I got back here safely. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on. You don't need to thank us. Yeah, besides, like you really need the help anyway. That bow gun of yours is an antique. We're pretty good with it. Don't lie. What? Ah, nah. A wandering priest spends a lot of time out in the wilderness, you know. Gotta be able to defend myself somehow. But there's no way I could match a pro. You really think so? I think you'd make a really good bracer, actually. You're really skilled. Aw, oh, Stare, you're making me blush. You can keep the flattery up, but we might have to get serious. <laughs> I thought we agreed to knock it off with the come-ons. <laughs> anyway, about this spook you're hunting. People have been coming to the local church about it, too. But uh, Father Theodore thinks we ain't dealing with a normal spirit here. Assuming it is a spirit at all. Really? Why is it normal? Well, the church likes to say that when people die, all the good little boys and girls join ADS in the sky, right? Right, and sinners are condemned to the fall into the darkness of Gehenna. Sometimes, though, you get, you get souls who don't really fall into either camp. That's what the church typically refers to as a ghost. <laughs> Watering souls, okay. But then, I still don't get what makes our ghost not normal, if it's a wandering soul. Well, they don't really wander. According to doctrine, ghosts are usually bound to something. Could be a place, could be a person. Point is, it's something. The ghosts everyone's been reporting though, doesn't seem to behave that way. It's got Father Theodore worried, and I can tell you that much. Now I get it. Yeah, that's worrying. Anyway, just something to keep in mind as you investigate. Now, I gotta get to the church. See you, gang. Stay cool and spookless. That was a short venture together. Huh, that's really good advice. I guess he really does know the Testaments. He still doesn't seem like much of a priest, though. Ah, I'll sweat it too much. The Wanderers really are a bunch of weirdos. The guy used to come to Ravenue way back when was a real bull of nuts, too. Hmm, okay. So anyway, we do still have some people we need to talk to. Let's continue our investigation. After you. Look how nice Agate's being. It's just so funny. It's such a stark contrast like he was the last game. We were a bunch of newbies and he was fucking hated us. Go and support some shit. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Still G+. Let's check him in the f church. Hey, good work. How were the orphan orphanage kids? They were plenty energetic. Seems like they are all in good spirits. They do say the younger the sprout, the stronger it grows. Seems we've got something to learn from them ourselves. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm definitely already liking Kevin quite a bit. He's, he's pretty cool. Just a chill-ass, crazy-ass priest, dude. Who's not a secretly a villain, hopefully. Back to good old Error Ledden. Error Ledden checkpoint. It's like ages since I've been here. So the guard who saw it is somewhere around here? At least that's what John, to John told us, yeah. Let's hit up the guard commander here first and see who saw that. Good idea. But, uh. <sighs> I think someone saw it. It's such a lovely place. Oh, knock it off with the it nonsense. Say some clown in the darkness or down a fucking sewer drain. Just say it's a ghost or whatever already. No, no! Not even anything! La, 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 la. Can a girl lie to herself every now and then? You're being overly dramatic, Estelle. No, you're being overly dramatic! I uh, probably this guy here. Um, excuse me. We're from the Bracer Guild. Hey, welcome. Hmm? Wait a minute. Is that bracer dealt with the Duke? Uh, yeah, it's me. I'm surprised you even remember that. Of course. Things wouldn't have gone half as smoothly without you. Well, what can we do for you today? Well, sir, we're here about a soldier who claims to have seen a white shadow. What? Even the guild's heard about that. Ah, for the love of... This is ridiculous. You should be ashamed, honestly. Ashamed? What do you mean? It wasn't any ghost, he was just daydreaming. Drifting off the way he did could be disastrous if there was an actual emergency. As commanding officer, his actions are wholly my responsibility. How embarrassing. 
I think you're getting a bit ahead of yourself, sir. That thing, whatever it is, has apparently been seen all over the region. What? Are you? Estelle and company explained the situation to the Chief Warrant Officer, Han. I... I see. Goodness. Thought he was simply half asleep, but... Perhaps I did jump to conclusions too quickly. I've been far too hard on Nyx in that case. So Nyx is the one who saw the White Shadow. That's right. He's currently on duty at the entrance of the Caldia Tunnel. You should go speak to him directly. Tell him he has permission to speak to you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Back to the big-ass tunnel place. Oh, there! You want to head into the tunnel? You may have a minute and open the gate. Uh, no, we're not here for the tunnel. We're from the Bracer Guild. We're here for you, actually. Can we ask you about the white shadow you saw? Uh, hang on, you mean... But, but, but that was just like I dreamed up when I was half asleep. Actually, it wasn't. A lot of people across Ruin have been seeing it. And according to your commanding officer, neither you nor he knew. He said sorry for his earlier comments. Says he could talk freely about it. So it was real. Oh, it's like a shit. Fuck. In your face, boss. In your face. It was too real to be a dream. This makes me feel a bit better, honestly. But if that thing was real, is that some kind of bone chilling? Trust me, I know what you mean. Anyway, can you tell us what you, about what you saw? In as much detail as you can, please. Sure. It was three nights ago. I was standing here on my watch shift. You notice how loud the waterfall is, right? You get used to it after a while, and it has a rhythm that can really lull you to sleep. Plus, I just start my shift and come with a mess, so I was even more sleepy. So to keep from falling asleep, I walk back and forth around here. And that's what I saw. It. I see. It's it to him, too. What was it exactly? A floating man dressed in white. Old-fashioned clothes. Here, it was just dancing above the waterfall. I freaked out so bad, I pointed my rifle at it without thinking it. What? You shot the thing? The thing? Yeah. I meant to be a warning shot, but I was so nervous I hit it right in the chest. <laughs> oh, shit. Ow! Or I know I did, but it just floated there as if nothing happened at all. After that, it took off like a bird or something heading north. Eep! I mean, a gunfire, too. That's just swell. After all that, I ran inside and woke Commander, of course. But all I got me was a dressing down for sleeping on the job and unnecessary rifle discharge. Man, it was a bad day. <laughs> I can, um, imagine. Well, anyway, it's clearly for the best to just pretend it was a dream and forget it ever happened. Yep. Thanks for the thought, but I doubt I'll be able to f ever be able to forget that. I don't know why that poor soul's a wandering ghost, but try to help him, yeah? I mean, priests can solve the problems of the dead, too, right? Heck no! I'm no priest! But there has to be a reason it's showing up, yeah? You need to figure out what that reason is. Good luck, then! My soul was just seeing things. Find a lot of good it does me. Everyone's pissed off, off at me. Well, let's go for bad or worse. There's something things showed up. Hmm. Wow, incredible! Papa Mama, come here! The hell? Now, now, slow down, you old trip pumpkin. It really is lovely. I'm glad we could come with you, my love. Thank you. No, I've always left you two hot alone back home. This is the least I can do for my family. Ah, that's a really sweet family. Looks like they're on vacation or something. Looks like, yeah. Think it might even be foreigners. It's so amazing. Just look at it. I feel like I it's going to swallow me whole. Excuse me, miss. Do you know the name of this waterfall? Where does all this water come from? Uh, that's a little out of the blue. Um. Fuck if I know. Well, the waterfall is called Air Leden. The waterfall flows from Valeria Lake through an ancient waterway. Oh, I know what Valeria Lake is. It's the big lake we saw before the airship landed, right? Yes, that's right, but airship? Are you from another country? Yep, that's right. I'm from far, far away. By the name, my name's Rene. Rene, huh? That's a really cute name. Eh, I know. Papa and Mama gave it to me. Of course it'd be cute. Rene, don't bother the nice lady too much. 
<laughs> our apologies if Rene is troubling you too much, miss. I wasn't doing anything bad. No, no, it's no trouble. Hope you don't mind me prying. What brings you to LaBeau, folks? Well, I have to come to LaBeau for business. Every time I do, I s struck by the beauty of this country, so... So this time, I brought in myself and our daughter along. Miracles do happen, it seems. It, it guys are like the most perfect, picture-perfect family, you know? Ain't jealous. Papa's got away a lot, but he always brings us lots of presents when he comes home. And Mama's always full of s smiles and makes the best food. Really? I am kind of jealous now, actually. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm sorry. She's still very much a child. Hey, what's yours, miss? What's your name? Oh, yeah, sorry. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. I'm a... Bracer? Uh, wait, do you know what a bracer is? Hey, I'm not a stupid. I'm a big girl. But that's neat. You're a bracer, huh? Did you slay lots of scary monsters? Yep. That's a part of the job sometimes. Bracer? That's very impressive. Yes, yeah, especially at your age. <laughs> I'm still pretty new at it, though. There are guild braces in every major city in LaBeau. If you folks got any trouble during your trip, you can count on us. Thank you. We'll keep that in mind. If you pardon us, though, we need to check in into the inn. Come along now, Rene. Oh, I want to talk to Mrs. Estelle more. Hey, Mrs. Estelle! Will you play with me next time we meet? Sure. Eat, yay! See you, Mrs. Stell. Hmm. I wonder what's up with them exactly. They all, they all had face portraits. Which immediately makes me think they're more than just simply rando NPCs. Pretty, pretty angelic little sprout, huh? But younger than Tita, even, I think. Yeah, she might be. What? Am I the old man? Uh, just a bit, yeah. I was thinking about how I was around her, around her age when Joshua and I first met. Ah, I see. Anyway, we're shaking down all our witnesses. Should we get back to Sean? Sure. Okie dokie. Oh, look who it is. Hey. Hey, you're back. I still. Oh, hello. Niall, Dorothy, what are you two doing in Rouen? I was getting some pictures taken and articles made for this friggin' wildfire of an election. And then I had something weird beyond that happening, so I stopped by to check out what's up. Something weird? You mean this white shadow thing people have been reporting? Actually, while you were out, we had another reporter of the thing appearing in the city limits. The citizens are really starting to get frightened and demand answers that I can't give them. Ah, hell. This has really become a major problem. And the capstone to it, and the capstone to it all will be the picture this young lady took. This one pretty much puts the nail in the coffin as to what's going on, so to speak. Oh, a picture. Ooh, we see what it looks like. Do you mean? What? What? You see, you're in a ghost sudden now? Mm, it's nothing like that, really. I was just taking pictures of the hotel at night, and skaboosh, ghost picture. Here, take a look. Whoa! It's like flying around like Mary Poppins. What? What? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I call that this decisive. Uh, uh, come on, guys. Don't you think it's just a bit too hasty? I might just be on a malfunction of the camera. Yeah. No, I don't think it's the camera's fault. It's a shiny brand new model from the Central Factory, and I've been taking really good care of it. It's a malfunction, okay? Malfunction! Wow, I still, you're scary all of a sudden. Anyway, I'm willing to put a lot more faith in these settings now. Seems something really is out there. More to the point, I think working with the media on this would be, wouldn't be a bad idea at this juncture. So it's all serious information. To start with, did you guys get any statements from the witnesses? Uh, yeah, we checked with all three. Oh crap, oh crap, it's an emergency, help. Who is this now? Hey, what's wrong? Why are you so worked up? Is it a robbery? No, no! Spores and Norman and Bordos are arguing. We're facing one, one another down on Lang Langlin Bridge. Oh, I fussed over an argument? Hold up. Those are the mayoral candidates, right? Ah, friggin'. Aha! It sounds like an article. Or maybe a riot. Duffy, we're on. Aye, aye, sir. See you later, Estelle. The fuck out of my way. Man, they're fast. 
We should get moving too. That thing turns into a damn riot. We need to be on hand. Right. Thanks, YouTube. Good luck. Hmm. Well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. I, I think this is likely going to end up being like one of the weird members of Ouroboros, you know? Granted, we've only seen three of them, but there seemingly are like, I think six or seven of them, right? That's what I'm thinking. But I will say, there's something nice about like coming back to these towns. I, I kind of was like sort of worried because it felt like, you know, we're kind of retreading old ground that we'd already seen before, but it's sort of nice because we're just kind of re-encountering and re-meeting a bunch of the folks that we have met before, you know? Like after like having been away for a while. So it is sort of weirdly like, like a reunion of some kind and surprisingly satisfying in that way. Not to mention to find that all of our like, you know, progress and quest stuff, it is all carried over. So everyone like remembers that. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already. Become a picky penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, Stay classy!